the uniform rod AB rests on rough horizontal ground and the force P is applied at B at B perpendicular to the rod. If the rod is on the point of slide of slipping, find P B the vertical and horizontal component of the reaction at A. C the coefficient of friction. Now to do this we draw a free body diagram. A free body diagram. Now let's draw now you have this is A point A, this is point B. There is a force here which is P perpendicular perpendicular at this point. Then this is the width of the rod at the center, which is 40 Newton. So there is a horizontal force here, which is A X. There is a vertical force here, which is A Y. Now, taking moment about. Take a moment about point A. Oh, here is thirty. You now have here is thirty. Now you have. Now let's assume the length of this rod is L because the length is not given here, so the length is L. So the moment the moment of the force P about A. Now let me say since the bo the, the 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 rod is on the, at the point of slipping, so that means it's at equilibrium. Now the summation of moment about a will not be equal to zero this is a con one of the condition of equilibrium so now we're not saying now, now we say clockwise is positive meaning anti-clockwise is negative so now The P times L is positive. Then you have the negative, which is the weight of the rod, which is, which is now 40 cos 30 times half the length of the rod equal to zero. This is all the forces acting. This is all the moment about A. So now with this we can get our value of P. P P L which is P times L minus forty <coughs> times L over two times cos that is equal to zero. <coughs> now dividing all true by L. We cancel out the L here. You now have P minus 40 all over 2 cos 30 is equal to 0. Now implies that P. Now for me to get my P, I will add 40 over to cos 30 to both sides of the equation. Now this will cancel out this. On the left hand side you are left with P which is equal to 20 cos 30. Now 
if you look at this here is 16 here is 16 the bisecting this you have here 13 now here is 2 2 here is 1 1 2 here is square root of 3 so cos cos is cos 13 is equal to adjacent all over hypotenuse which is equal to the square root of 3 all over 2 so now if we substitute that here into this equation you have 20 times square root of 3 all over 2 which is 10 square root of 3 this is the answer for P. So P is 10 times square root of 3 Newton. Now let's look for B, B, the vertical and the horizontal component of the reaction at A. So now, for us to get that, let's resolve now here, let's resolve this value vertically and horizontally now you know here is starting here is 60 so meaning that here is starting so now let's now let's sum now the sum of the vertical forces is equal to zero now what are the sums of the vertical forces you have a y is positive so vertical is positive a y is positive you have minus 40 the weight of the rod now you have plus p cos 30 all of this is equal to zero now if you want to resolve this p let's assume this is p you want to resolve it to be in this form up oh, and the negative x axis so now the value of e y will now be 40 minus p cos 30 which is 40 minus p is 10 square root of 3 and cos 30 is the square root of 3 all over 2 do you, do you have record, do you have so this is 40 minus 5 times 3 which will give you 15 which will be 40 minus 15 so this will give you 25 newton now for the vertical for the horizontal since it's, the system is also in equilibrium, since the system is in equilibrium, let me move this to this point. Now, since the system is in equilibrium, also. The sum of the horizontal forces will be equal to zero. So now this will be positive. So the horizontal forces will now be a x minus. 
minus P sine 30 which is equal to 0 so AX is equal to P sine 30 AX will now be 10 square root of 3 times 1 over 2 because sine sine 30 is equal to opposites all over hypotenuse now the opposite is 1 the opposite of this 30 is 1 all over 2 so it will now be 5 square root of 3 Newton 4 the horizontal forces now the coefficient now assuming the slides so you have assume the slides it wants to slice now let's say it wants to slice Now, it will not have it will not have a frictional force acting in this direction, and here we have a vertical force. So now, the horizontal force. AX is equal to the horizontal force, then the vertical force A Y is something as N. So the mu will now be AX divided by A Y, and AX is 5 root 3 divided by divided by ay is um, 25 so this is the same thing as square root of 3 all over 5 this is the coefficient of friction so thank you for watching have a nice day please if you like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that if I do new videos, you'll be the first to watch it. Thank you. And also do well to share the video.